Guys, can you hear us? Joe, do you want to start? I know now. Um, what was your assessment of that as a whole? I mean, obviously things didn't go to plan in the first half, but um, what, what, what was your overall assessment? It was clear that uh, we performed better in the, in the second half, but uh, why we didn't do it in the first half, we we're going to see it, but we were not comfortable in the game. Uh, curiously, the best spell that we had was the moment that we make the penalty. Um, but we were not comfortable. We were, City was breaking us uh, with a lot of circulation and possession of the ball. We didn't find the right point to, to press and to recover. I think we adjust better in the in the second half um, and we were able to see a different dynamic of the team. And we created chances, we created good moments of, of football. Um, we score late in the game, but we knew that one goal could change, could change everything. Um, and the boys believe till the end, um, but a lot of things that uh, we should and we must improve. Is that one where you take a, a few more negatives than positives? Not all bad, but you know, there's there's a few more things to work on. Of course, of course, the game has always positives and negatives. It's not about measuring them. Is is the we know how important uh, the moments are in both both boxes. This is what really changes the game. So. I think we were we were bad defensively in the first half and our box in the second half we should be more clinical because we had we had good moments. We had really, really good moments against a fantastic team that City is talented players and make us so hard for us. But the second half we, we really really create them a lot of a lot of problems. It was a Marcel. He, he came off early on. It was was it was it a hamstring, was it a muscular injury or do you not know yet? We must assess was we must assess was just in the, the beginning of the match. We feel something now. We're gonna assess. Um, let's see. It's not it's not too much. Did you did he say anything? Did he say that he, he felt okay? Well, not so serious. Yeah, he said, he said that uh, he felt something that was not uh, he was not able to continue the game. So we made uh, immediately the substitution. So things didn't go that worst. Okay, thank you, Nana. Thank you, John. Um, you got any questions? Uh, yeah, Nuno, just um, just on Daniel Pudence, he finished last season really well, and he had some uh, really good moments uh, in this match, particularly the little nutmeg on Kevin De Bruyne and setting up Raul Jimenez. I mean, how much has he improved, and what does he add to your attacking threat? I think he is improving, and really, um, it's about the complicity, the societies. We, with the, the teammates, I think he, he has more knowledge of the game, and because the talent of Daniel is is huge, he's a very talented player, a quality player, and a fighter, and a fighter. Um, um, I think he, he did well, and he must improve like everybody. But he should do, be more clinical in, in in the box, something that he has, and for sure in the future will, will give us to us. Does that? come with just experience playing matches the clinical side of it or does he have to work on something in training there we're going to work we always work every day is a day of work to, to improve um, but of course more games the more complicity the teammates the better we, we can be thank you thank you Ben Okay, uh, no, no, sorry. Um, you said on Saturday that you knew which player you, you wanted after Jota left, uh, but you wouldn't tell us who it was. Is it Nelson Samedo? And and if it is, when is that deal likely to be done? What I said, that I said that we had our targets identified and we have them and we are working on it. I'm sorry, but I cannot uh, go much further than this. So let's wait. Let's wait and things to be to be clear. But uh, we, until the transfer window is finished, we must balance and, and straighten our squad. Thank you. Thank you, Simon. Thank you very much. Bye.